Hey guys, recently I've had several people reach out to me and ask if I can do a video on how to install Android on a Chromebook. And since I had so many people ask and I actually did some research, figured out it's pretty easy really, at least the way I'm gonna show you how to do it. Uh, I thought I would just jump in, show you how to make a quick video on this. But uh, first things first, I've also got to uh, let you know that this will only work on a 32-bit on a or a 64-bit processor. Uh, in this case, we're going to need uh, an Intel-based processor. If you've got an ARM processor or the, the Xenios or whatever that Samsung is putting out, um, that's not gonna work in this case so uh, so you're definitely going to want an Intel based processor uh, that'll handle 32-bit or 64-bit uh, applications um, and of course you're going to need a, a USB stick so that we can actually burn everything uh, once we download it uh, we'll, we'll copy it over to this and we'll jump over to the Chromebook so uh, I wanted to get all of that out of there or out, out of the way there so that we've kind of got a, a basis from which to start so let's go ahead and jump over to my desktop uh, we'll go ahead and I'll show you where to download everything that we're going to need, copy it over to the USB, and then we'll jump to the Chromebook where I'll, I'll show you something else. Um, and so let's just go ahead and jump into this. Okay, guys, so here we are on my desktop. This is going to give us the option for uh, different versions of uh, Android. Uh, in this case, we're going to take a look at the 8.1, but if you wanted to go back to like 4.4 or 5.1 or 6.0, you could download all of those as well. But like I said, we're just going to download the 8.1 version for this uh, just because I'm familiar with it and uh, I know that it works really well here. So uh, what we want to do, obviously, here is uh, pick... Uh, in this case, we're going to pick the, the first one, and we're just going to click on View. This is going to take us over to somewhere else, and that's fine. Uh, but from here, we're going to uh, click, or actually we're not, we're just going to let it automatically start. I've already done this, I've got it on my desktop, but that's how easy it is to just download the ISO. Okay, so we can see up here uh, that we've got uh, the ISO downloaded for Android. We've also got Win32 Disk Imager uh, uh, loaded up here. Of course, you can use Etcher or, or whatever you want to use there. A lot of people like Rufus these days, and that's fine. Use whatever imaging software you want to use there. Um, but that's basically all we're going to need, of course, in addition to our USB stick. This is an 8 gig stick. You can probably get away with a 2 or a 4, but I've got an 8 gig stick here just to be safe. So, uh, of course, I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. And I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that's fine. So that's my H drive, that's gonna work just fine. So I'll go ahead and click on the little blue folder here. Go to my desktop, go to the Android folder. Gonna go ahead and drop this down to select all files there. And uh, then we'll just go ahead and click on write. And then, yep, that's fine. So this is gonna take a couple of minutes to go ahead and write. Uh, not really a big deal, uh, but just go ahead and let this sit here, do its thing. And then once it's done, we'll jump over to the Chromebook. Okay guys, so here we are with my Chromebook. And uh, so basically what I wanna do here is I'm gonna turn this on and just show you something. In order for this to work, you're gonna to have to modify your BIOS. And if you're not sure how to modify your BIOS, um, I will link to another video uh, in the description. Let me see if I can focus that a little bit better. There we go. Um, so you will need to have a modified BIOS for this so that you can boot uh, from a USB drive. Um, I actually really dig this BIOS. And again, I will have a link to this in the description uh, so that you can learn how to do this. Again, this will only work with an Intel-based processor. Again, if you do have an ARM processor, this isn't gonna work. So make sure that you've got a supported uh, or Intel processor um, and it, whether or not it's supported I it will actually be dis discussed on that other video as well so uh, let's just go ahead and move forward as though you've got this BIOS modified on your Chromebook and we'll just go ahead and keep going here so uh, first thing first uh, we're obviously going to need uh, the USB stick that we uh, just created so we're going to go ahead and plug that in and then we're going to do a reboot and it should here in just a second pop up with the Android screen. Um, it's going to give us some different options here. We can go into live mode if we just want to check it out. That's cool. Uh, we can do that. Uh, or we can go into this installation. Uh, this manual installation process means you've got to create some different folders and do that sort of thing. And I've run through it a few times and I got it once. Um, but then luckily I went into the advanced options down here and... Um, <clears throat> And just went down to right here where it says auto install to spec uh, to specified 
hard disk. And that's what we're going to do here. And this is going to make this really, really simple. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just click on enter right there. Uh, the next screen that should come up after this will be kind of a user interface screen uh, where it's going to ask me which drive do I want to install to. Um, so the 14.9 the uh, gigabyte Kingston, that's my internal SSD. The other one is the, the USB that we just wrote this to. So obviously what we want to choose the internal uh, SSD here. So I'm just going to go ahead and click enter right there. Um, it's like, hey, uh, last chance. Are you sure that's what you want to do? And I'm going to go ahead and say yes. And then we're just going to wait. Um, it's going to go through this process. It tells us that it, it expects to write this eight gigs or whatever it happens to be here. Um, and we're just going to kind of hang out for a couple of minutes while it does its thing. Um, this is really all there is to it. Uh, once this is done, uh, it should give us the option to reboot. And then once we reboot, it should come up with uh, your, your, your regular Android sign up setup thing here, where you're going to put in your, your email address and your password and all of that. So, um, so like I said, we're actually just about done here. And once we're done, we'll go ahead and reboot and jump right into it. Okay, so in this case, we want to reboot. Like we've got the option to run it. We just want to go ahead and reboot. It's always a good idea to reboot once you've finished an operating system install. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and select reboot there. It's going to count down. Screen should go black. And then we can unplug and take our USB stick out. Um, now it's giving us some options here. Um, that you'll, you'll have to go through every time, but it's whatever. Um, you can either go into debug mode, uh, boot straight into it, or you can go into advanced options. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and boot straight into Android. So it's going to think for, for a little bit first, and then we're going to get our Android screen. Now this screen the first time is going to take a few minutes and that's kind of unfortunate. But again, if you've watched my other videos, this is a known thing. Anytime you install a new operating system, it's got some setup to do. It's got some cleanup to do that sort of thing. So we're just going to hang out, let this thing uh, do all of that. And then once it's done, we should get into our, our setup where again, we'll put in our username or our email address and our password. Okay, so here we go. Uh, that took about five-ish minutes, I guess. Um, <clears throat> so of course, now the next thing is gonna be to do to go ahead and uh, click Start uh, for the setup process. It's gonna ask to connect to a Wi-Fi network. Let's go ahead and do that. So of course it's gonna go through the normal checking for updates. That's pretty standard here. Uh, we're gonna set this up as new. Uh, you could probably import uh, something from a different device if you wanted to, but I wanna go ahead and set up as new. All right, so we'll go ahead and enter our, our login credentials and we'll come right back. Okay, so I'm signed in, we're back. Now it's going through the next steps of setting up my account. Uh, we're gonna go ahead, scroll through some of this um, and just go ahead and click on, I agree. Don't wanna add any other e email addresses though you could if you wanted to at this point. So we'll go ahead and say no thanks. Uh, we're gonna say we want uh, launcher three I want that always. And just like that, we're signed in. Uh, just to show you this, uh, here is the Play Store. Oh, so let's see. Sure, let's uh, let's install that. And also just to kind of show you this uh, while, while this is doing its thing, you can come up to the top, you can do a double swipe down. Um, 
and um, get all of your your normal settings that you would expect to see on Android there. Uh, you know, if you want to, you know, you can turn up the screen brightness, you can turn that down. Okay guys, so that's how easy it is to install Android on a Chromebook. Again, you're gonna need a modified BIOS on an Intel-based processor, but um, I will link to that in the description as well so you can go check out how to do that. Of course, once all that's done, then just going through the process I showed you really only takes a couple of minutes of actually your time of, of interaction and whatnot. Uh, there is a, a bit of a, a waiting period while it does some of its stuff, but that's to be expected with any operating system install. So hopefully you found the video helpful. If you did, do me a favor, give the video a thumbs up. It would really help me out a bunch. Uh, also, if you know anybody else who's looking for this, definitely share that with them. And I think that's going to to wrap things up. Of course, if you've got other ideas for videos, I'm all ears. I love I love working with you guys with ideas and that sort of thing. So I know what kind of videos you guys want to see. So if you've got any of those kind of other ideas, I know Parrot Parrot OS keeps getting requested. And I just don't care enough about it uh, to do that. But if you've got other ideas, leave those in the comment section down below. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support. And I'll talk to you in the next video.